Hello, this is Chia Song Lee again. And in the last video, I talked about the beginning of my book. And I told you that I would like to talk about Hamnet and Dr. Jekyll to prove what I said there. Um, first of all, Hamnet is one of the most if not the most, the one of the most important works in English literature, and it's that famous, very popular too. And uh, if we uh, go to this diagram again, uh, according to Rene Descartes, I think therefore I am, uh, and the thinking means comparing and contrasting this and that, that uh, with others and, and so on. Hamnet should uh, be here and uh, Claudius, the false king, the younger brother of his father should be here. And in the end, he must be succeed like uh, to be an emperor <laughs> dominating, conquering and dominating other countries around his and, uh, you know, have a lot of uh, money, of course, and then big palace and uh, that should be uh, great success as the end of the work, but the end is not like that. It's never like that. Uh, we usually want happy ending story, right? And we usually want, uh, not only usually, but always say we want to live a happy life and then usually say um, we want happy ending story. However, the art doesn't go that way. In this case too, Hamnet dies. Hamnet is a good guy. So not only Hamnet, but Claudius dies because Hamnet succeeds to avenge his father and kills his uncle, but Hamnet dies too. So bad guy dies, and good guy dies too. So at, uh, at the end of the drama, nothing is left. Nothing is left. Everybody dies. His mother dies. Uh, Claudius is killed by Hamlet. Hamlet's uh, dying and Hamlet's uh, subjects are uh, dead, killed, they are killed and so on. In fact, Claudius killed, uh, according to what his older brother, in other words, the father of Hamlet says, as a ghost to uh, Hamlet, his younger brother uh, put the poison in, in his ear and killed him when he was sleeping, taking a nap. And he says, please, avenge me, uh, kill my younger brother. And, 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 but it takes so, such a long time to actually the whole drama or the whole play. Hamnet is a story of uh, the hesitant mind and hesitant behavior of Hamnet. So at the end, anyway, it's not a, a, a succeeding story and at the end, uh, even though there were like uh, stressful situations, uh, he overcomes all and then he, he succeeds uh, ki to kill Claudius and then conquer all neighborhood countries and so on. It's not like that. It's a very sad and ending story. And how come? It's, it's art. It's how art goes, and especially this 
masterpiece goes. Pain and pleasure goes together. We don't need really two sides and to look down upon this or to uh, feel jealousy about it, uh, toward this. To two are one. And then after the end of the uh, story, it's like Buddhist image of the figure pointing to the moon. You have to watch the moon there, the truth, in other words, not the finger itself, the text. So the truth is important. And truth is not phenomenal. It's not part of the story. So it's not happy ending story, but everything dies, everything goes away from the picture and uh, there's no concept. Anyway, that's the way pointed by the finger, the text. It's uh, the great works like that, are like that. And also Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde goes that way. Dr. Jekyll is a decent looking uh, high class doctor in London city of Victorian uh, age. And Hyde is such a miserable guy looking uh, hideous and so on. But at the end of the day, uh, well, in the, in the beginning, he uh, creates and not creates, but he sort of made uh, Hyde by by making po uh, potion and the Hyde comes back when he doesn't expect him and enjoy him. So he wants to kill him. Hyde should be die, dead. Um, and then he succeeds to kill him, but what is that? Succeeding to kill Hyde is committing suicide because this person is this person. This and this are one. So everything goes away uh, from the picture and nothing is left. And the, we call that spiritual feeling the sublime or in French, jouissance. So it's kind of, um, Postmodern sublime, as I will uh, explain later on uh, in another uh, video. But uh, anyway, we glimpse the truth, which is the source. Truth is the source, the, the ultimate reality of the power that produces this all phenomena. So that's how art goes. And if we ignore uh, dramas and novels and poems, just uh, or if we interpret those literary works and also Hollywood uh, blockbusters, there are good high, very good high uh, Hollywood blockbusters too. If we interpret them with only the theme, okay, like Joker is a murderer and. Uh, also the Joker in the uh, second movie called uh, Dark Knight. In that movie, the Joker is a bad guy, it's something like that. If we interpret the films that way, then we lose a lot, a lot of uh, the source of the, uh, 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 the, the phenomena there. The source of the phenomena is not source, and it's not phenomenal. So we have to go on to dig into the ground and uh, uh, watch really what's the really insight that we have to feel spiritually. Thank you so much. <laughs>